Hi, this is just a quick one to demonstrate Windows split screen or snap feature. This is really useful if you're creating a document and you need input from other documents. Uh, you can display them all on the screen at the same time. Now this feature is available in Windows 7, 8 and 10 but there are some differences which I'll go through in a moment. So let's just run through it quickly. Um, let's pretend we want to create a document and we need some input into that document. So to create a split screen for this particular document you go to the taskbar at the top, you left click, hold it down, drag it to the right, you see the ghost screen, you let go and there you have it exactly half the screen. Now we want input, let's say we want some rainfall figures, so we'll call up that document, so you, you click on that one, that fills up the other half of the screen, uh, copy the total you want, and paste it into the new document. Um, now let's say we need some input from another document, we need some earnings and spending, so we need to call up the budget document. So go to your, this icon at the bottom here is called task view. If you click that, that shows you what windows open. Um, those two we've got on the screen at the moment, we want this one, so we'll click on that one. It's taking up the whole screen, but we want it on the left, so we'll uh, left click the taskbar, drag it to the left to get the ghost screen, and there we have it. Um, and then uh, because we want to see that other document as well we'll now use a feature of Windows 10 where you can actually split your screen into four. Seven and eight you can't but Windows 10 you can. So press down the Windows key while holding it down press the down arrow and there we have that document into the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You can call the other one back by just clicking on it. So now we've got three documents on the screen um, and we want to put some figures in from there, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then let's say we want to get some information from an internet page, so we go on the internet, and let's say we want to just add some notes about Excel tips, so we'll just copy those. Um, now this this document is taking the whole page again, so we'll just drag it to the right, and then Windows key down arrow. So now it's in the bottom right hand corner. We'll click our original document to bring it back, and we'll put our notes in there. And then let's say we also want to. Uh, copy the link to this page and put that in, so we'll copy that, paste it there, and there you have it, we have a document that we created from three other documents with minimal fuss and very easy to do, this is a very useful feature of Windows and it's very easy to learn as you can see, so uh, use it in the future. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel and like and share it. Thanks very much.